Welcome back to Limbus Company, Daily Mirror Dungeon. Uh, today, the plan is we're going to be running a sinking team again, but for the purpose of trying to make as much use of the two new bygone days ego as much as possible. So, in case you don't know exactly what they do, new song bygone days inflicts sinking based on gloom resonance, simple enough. I, I have it on upside. I've got both these threads been too because I don't have the thread right now, but they work mostly fine enough, right? And then Gregor uh, heals SP to self and other allies, and then consume sinking on the target and heal additional SP based on the potency they have. So it's, uh, just seems interesting for, you know, just a bunch of SP healing for a couple allies if you have a sinking team. They seem like they kind of work well together, have, you know, Yi Song inflict a bunch of sinking and then Gregor, you know, consume a bunch of sinking. Starting with, uh, Thorny Path, Room Compass, because, you know, sinking, awesome. And for the actual team itself, we'll probably do something like this, yeah. No, not you, you, okay. There we go. That should work. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, um, seems like we aren't getting any fancy um, new IDs next week, which is fine. I'm not surprised. They're just, they're gonna save them. Makes enough sense. We don't really need IDs. Like, the only reason, like, we got an ID the third week of Season 2 is because Yi Song only had three IDs then. And unless you were, you know, feeling like you're running Blade Lineage for the dungeon and not no other options, uh, he kind of needed Spice Bush, right? That's how I rationale it, at least. <laughs> it makes enough sense, I'd say. Yeah. But yeah, um... I don't know, it, it feels like it's, it's gonna be a very long week. It's already felt like a very long week. Until the next update, till the final part of Canto 6. And we'll just have to wait. Just have to wait. Uh, down we go? <laughs> <laughs> a little tired because it's early in the morning, you know how it goes. I did see uh, the funny Hammer Pang Pang, the, like the theme cafe trailer thing, focusing on uh, Zhao. So I guess they're they're moving on to that column of um, Rumina. Because Hammer Pang Pang, for like the longest time, they've been going through. So they've been going through Rumina kind of like column by column, right? Because like they did like they did like the corp. Like, they started out doing, like, the first three chapters of the game, like, before you actually, actually splits up into four paths. And then they did the rightmost, and they did leftmost, and they did slight left, and now we're moving on to slight right. That's cool, I guess. What comes next is gonna be impurity, right? Yeah, Hana and, like, reverb stuff. That's funny to think about. And then they're gonna move on to, like, actually just kind of sticking to Limbus stuff, I suppose? I don't know, it sounds interesting. And bang bang school. Mm. Mm. Not too much of like the actual things they were selling for the Hound Pang Pangs, like like the like the Liu and stuff theme. Liu and Philip is like the main stuff there. Um I'm sure that's cool stuff, right? Downpour is very interesting. I'll take Nebulizer. Um, I think they have resources are pretty good for us. Just making sure we can spam the ego as much as possible, right? Oh, that's sinking. I forgot. I always forget Red Order is sinking because I never think about Red Order, right? Faust. Uh, you know, I just bought this. I'd like to change Faust skills. Look, get another skill three. That sounds pretty useful. Because that means we got more Echoes of the Manor Infliction going on. Which is pretty nice. And Nostalgia, nice as well. Post and press on. Going back to it. So yeah, here we go. Unfortunately, none of the people we're actually trying to focus on can use their egos in the right place here. That's fine. So I'm just checking. Because if we want to, we can... 
yeah, I'm doing this wrong, but... So we want to, we can basically guarantee Gloom Resonance whenever we want. And unfortunately, I'm not going to bother with this because it's not going to hit Guido, so it's not going to be that worthwhile. But you, you see what I mean, right? That's the, that's, that's the idea. Okay, you need to ego here, so you're just going to land evolution, I guess. Fine. And probably just roll with this, yeah. Oh. There we win these, nice. Get some Sandy up and Faust. Some of these, some of our center is still a really bad Sandy, despite being, you know, this the third fight. Some of them just haven't had the chance to clash, I suppose. It happens sometimes. It really does. Especially when, like, early enemies in your dungeons love their defensive skill. Love their guard. Mm. Land of Illusion is a sinking ego. Easy to forget because it just looks like five potency and nothing else, right? Yeah, none of these new singing egos inflict more singing count, probably because um, Rodeon exists and Rhyme Shank exists. So we don't, don't really need another ego that uh, is like that, right? That's what I think of it, at least, right? Because just Rhyme Shank's so stupid for sinking. And it's, you know, thrown off the entire sinking economy. Counter, that's fine. We get that Nightmare Hunt off. Nice. I'm Sandy up for Gregor. And now it's just these guys left. Shouldn't be too bad. Do this. Get a bunch of kills, that sort of thing. They should just all die. Their, their, their big strong leader man is, you know, dead. So they don't really stand much of a chance, do they? Yep, there they go. Nice. Now, we haven't used any new egos yet, uh, but we will use them as run trust. I'd never forget. Oh, standard duty battery this early? Sure thing. I'll take that. It's a random tier 3 from the first floor boss clear. We'll go top path here. Risky encounter into an event into the rest stop. Seems good. More of these guys. I'll, I'll use, like, I might want to just use the egos just for the sake of a bit, right? Yeah, I'll heal SP for people. We don't actually need SP at this point, but, like, it's it's funny to think about. Well, we'll use yours at this turn. So we can go for the full Gloom Resonance. So... So the thing here is, so you'll inflict 12 sing, sinking split between enemies. Um, I do believe if I had this up tied to max, or threat spin to max, it would be 6 plus Gloom Resonance times 1.5, I think. So it would be 9 instead of 6 from this part, so it would be slightly better. I'm pretty sure it's just the 1.5 times the Gloom Resonance, not the actual entire number. It really isn't a lot of sinking, because it's split between targets. Well, we'll go for this, why not? They've all got a fair bit of thing to start out with, just thanks to um, the compass, right? So the count will remain decently high. There you go. The, the animation seems to go a little fast. I feel like it should probably like hold on like that final image for at least a little longer. It kind of has gone a blink of an eye. Which feels weird. That's fine. Just my opinion on it. I've never heard to be built around. I really doubt that this, this one is better than Crow's IV just because of how useful Crow's IV is. Just that haste on everyone next turn is such a strong effect, right? So it's hard to compete with it. I really wish the ego was like a he instead of a Zayn. I think if anything it should be a Zayn, it should probably be one of the ones for either Electric Screaming or like Vine's Otis. Because Yi Song still doesn't have any dupe. He still only has one he ego. So he could still could have gotten one there without it, you know, stepping up to his own either ego too much, right?
I think you can enhance this for more sinking count. You can enhance this so that's any lost resonance, so it's a little bit easier to use. And then we can enhance pen and nostalgia. Sure. Everyone has gloom except for Yi Song, so that just, it'll just hit if there was any of the one except for Yi Song, right? That's fine. Okay. That's a little bit of this. Yeah, Compass means you just have so much singing to start out with by default, which is always cool to see. And some of our attacks are pretty good for things to see out too. Notably, both Gregor and uh, Faust skill 2s are positive sinking count inflictors, despite being two claims, which makes them super solid. Yeah, because your Mai isn't the three singing count as Mrs. Commands. Oh, that's a different thing. No, uh, a confiscation. This is sinking neutral. No, that's your skill one. Your skill two is sinking neutral, right? Yeah. Yeah, Faust is super singing count positive. On like, her skill one singing count in Oh, no, that's potency, not count. Never mind. I, I misread that for a second. Oh, yeah. My point still mostly stands. Sure, skill 2 is really good for sinking count, so that's pretty solid to have. Nice crit. Yeah, we singing to lose that guy into a pile of fine dust. Chicken dust, I suppose. Sounds like a thing that could exist, right? Nice, just this guy left, and Faust gets the kill there. Sounds nice, that's good. On to the boss. On to the boss. Or we'll try using the egos a little bit better, right? Pierce and Sloth, so that's Snake Inquisitors. Simple enough. They're weak to Pierce, though, so I mean, we could benefit from your ego a little bit. The bygone days. I mean, it doesn't really help us that much because we don't really need SP right now, right? Yeah. And we're mostly going to focus on Yisung, I suppose, then. That goes right. And we'll target you, so actually we should be able to hit all of them, right? Yeah, this, this hits all of them. Cool. We'll try something like that. That should work out. Okay, that'll do a little bit of nightmare hunting. We love hunting nightmares. And then we'll see how all the bygone gate days is here. It'll hit all three, so it'll split it'll split sing potency between the three. Maybe I should have like honestly if I should I should have done it to not hit the bottom guy, right? Because we don't really want sing on the bottom guy nearly as much. Nice. Yeah, so... It looks like the right arm has, like, no sinking left. But the left arm has a bunch of sinking. Okay, cool. So our stuff that's, like, fairly good for sinking should probably... Hit you, right? Sure, we'll do that. Looks good. Except for its four should be a fair bit of sinking. If we could get, um, Midwinter Nightmare, it would help out a lot. With just the potency gain. We're doing pretty well with, like, the count for quite a few of us. We're, we're quite a bit right now. We just don't have enough stuff that increases potency while maintaining count, right? Nice arms dead. Let's deep sent really doesn't help us here. That's fine. Nice. 
this. Okay, we'll try that. Uh, we might have you ego though, right? Like on days, we're not going for the gloom resonance like particularly, but uh, that's fine. It'll still be something. Let's put nine gloom. That's all right. Nine sinking. Uh, three gloom skills. Cool. Bottom here has just been staggered already. Pretty solid. It doesn't really help us if we haven't actually gotten the singing count up very much. I guess that's the main thing. We kind of got to build up singing count before we use the ego. Which is why compass is really good with it, right? Since the compass means that we the singing count just starts out pretty high. And it's just bottom guy left, so... Let's kill that guy. Beat him death with hammers. Although we don't have any hammers, so we're just beating to death with whatever miscellaneous objects each of us fight with. Mostly the key. Mostly the key. Yeah, the key just kills. We love it. Dijong is so fun. So that skill one just goes so hard. Can we get some stuff here? I'm take Carmilla. I mean, I'll take it. I don't know. It doesn't particularly appeal to me because it's not sinking and i'm trying to benefit from the singing as much as possible without just relying on the same old stuff as per usual okay blubbering toad he is very sinkable that's for sure especially the guy that's weak to sinking everyone everyone knows actually is fine for speed yeah Of this and yeah, we're dominating everything, so that's pretty solid. I do think another really cool thing about Gregor's uh, bygone days is the corrosion for that one. Actually, has a pretty interesting effect. I think it only works. I think it works best at Threadspin Four. So I didn't really want to focus on it this time. We're really focusing on Yi songs this time. I might try like thread spinning Gregor's before I really properly focus on his. But it does seem very interesting, that's for sure. Especially if we're not getting any banners next week, I can definitely afford to spend some thread on an ego that seems cool, right? Yeah, because the basic thing about uh, Back on Day's Corrosion inflicts Gloom Fragility, 3 plus Gloom Rise, inflicts 1 additional Gloom Fragility. I believe it becomes 2 plus 2? Or something but you can see we can actually get some gloom fragility off and if we play our cards right if gregor is the fastest we could theoretically have him garden of thorns and bygone days in the same turn right on a gloom team that's what i'm thinking might be a really funny idea we'll see i'll still save that for another day of course but I don't know, I might be able to cook. Might might use Vi for that, if so, though. Because while you do have haste technically with your skill too, um, not very reliable, right? I think, the, I think the only other Gloom Fragility before this Ego was Heat of ADD being like one Gloom Fragility, right? It wasn't great. There's a little bit of potential though for something real funny to happen if we if we use it right. So that's the hope. Not this run's hope, of course. This run that fate's already been sealed to not be real. I'm gonna just kill these two. Bonk. And bonk. All right, nice. Had a fair bit of singing on each of them. I definitely could have gone for the fusion gift. The fusion gift could have helped count a little bit. I figured um, I shouldn't go for the fusion gift every time, right? It's kind of boring if you keep on going for it. Can anyone do this? I don't think so. I'll just go for the weaker one, yeah. 
That's a healing and some cost gain, so that's worth it. Gregor skill faith. Okay. All right. So gifts. We do not need this. We do not need this. Greg, we can get another nightmare hunt. And what else are we? What else could we benefit from? Headless portrait. Yeah. Probably good enough. We actually might want to upgrade some things, so I might sell more things. I'll sell this. Don't know if I want to sell anything else, though. Actually, that'll probably be fine for now, right? We press on. We'll head to that rest stop. We'll get to do some fights beforehand, so we should build up some costs before we get there, so we can potentially upgrade more things. Some of these guys. How uncouth of them to stand in our way. We'll cut through them and then they won't be standing in our way much longer, though. Uh -huh. <laughs> Okay. Looks good. Prime beef board straight from Asquarp. Sounds delectable, Sam Joe. We love that Sam Joe announcer. Like, it's really funny because at one point I definitely changed it so I equipped other announcers back, but it didn't save, so it's just gone back to only being Sam Joe for a while. Mm. Oh, I clicked on Pierre and Jack accidentally. I didn't even notice. I'm going to keep on trying to scroll and accidentally click on them. There we go. That works. I think that's like the squad I'll roll with. Might as well. We'll get that Heathcliff and Nelly announcer this week. That'll be fun. Nightmare Hunt, this guy might just straight up kill him. Yeah, Nightmare Hunt, I'm, if we really want to make the most of this Gregor, we gotta use an ego to like really lower his sanity a bunch. So probably Garden of Thorns, but Garden of Thorns is so expensive. If I'm gonna corrode that just for the sake of losing sanity, I don't know if that's really worth it that much, honestly. But then that's but that's how his skill two becomes actually useful, right? Or is it no it's not his skill two, his ego, his bike on days. Since he wants to lose a bunch of sanity and he wants to be, keep build up a bunch of sanity, bike on days could be do a great job of building up a bunch of sanity because uh it costs fifteen right yeah, no, it costs twenty. And heals ten SP to self. So at best it heals himself ten SP, that's not great, no. Better off just clashing a bunch, I suppose. I don't know. There's something I'm missing. So I guess if you do clash and then get the best possible bike on days, you do get 20 sandy, I suppose. Isn't that game? Like, especially because we've got faith this run, like... I don't know how much it'll help us. Yeah, faith might have actually doomed us from actually triggering Gregor's passive at all. It's a very weird one. Yeah, that was Mistress Commands. Mistress Commands to punch this guy to death. And this, just commands him. this button has been bothering me so much, by the way. I noticed this yesterday, too, but they've just bugged it, so it's always there, always watching me, and it's scary. Sure, more of that. That doesn't help us that much. Should we upgrade this? We could upgrade this again so more allies gain poise. I like the, I like that idea for the bit. But no, okay. Get this up too, sure. That's good enough. We push onwards. It's toad time. We'll see how well this goes. We should be able to sing him to death without too much of a hassle, especially since I'm probably gonna actually rhyme shank this time. Done. You know how it goes. Look at those five gluttony gloom resonance here. I think that'll be good enough. 
Do the sitting, red eye, left eye, and body. Okay. It's convenient. And left eye is where we're going to attack with a lot of this stuff. It's good for sinking. This is where we're going to... Hmm. Actually, well, if you just hit a different part. So, well, if you clash in the eye... Unveil... This isn't actually great for... We can do this, then, maybe. I don't know. We'll view Clash as well. That'll probably make sense. Why is that doing that? I see. Um... I guess we should probably... Seven so four hearts heal you. One side with that, maybe? Is that good? So let's see, this is being hit by quite a few attacks, most of which are fairly good for us though, right? Yeah. And thanks to Compass, you should have a bunch of random sinking already in the eye. The right eye is easy, the one that has a lot of sinking count. The left eye's got enough to be, you know, a starting point, right? I should probably do it like this. It's jumping over the eye, and that's rude. Um... We do it like... Get rid of this for a second, get rid of this for a second. Now target this, there we go. And then reception arts you... Reminds you, and that should work. There we go, wholesome, heartwarming. And now we get a funny rhyme shank going. We don't have commemorative coins, so it only goes through once. Probably for the best. Although it would be funny to get even more sinking with commemorative coin, but that's fine. You hit all three parts, good stuff. And Ramayas wins the clash, which means it's two sink count on win clash, and you'll do like three additional sink count with the second coin. Meaning that that was a net gain of three sinking count from that skill. Yeah, bygone days for a little bit more sinking potency infliction. Since we're not really doing great on potency, so bygone days will help out. I think I have it split between three parts. Yeah. Being smarter, I probably wouldn't have had it do that, but that's fine. You've got a lot of sinking now, though. Who's sanity suffering? I cannot tell who's sanity suffering, because they gained their sanity back, it seems. That thing kept neutral. I'm gonna go for one of the other ones. We'll use sing by on days again, I think. Because it's, it's the nice thing is it's a resonance, not absolute resonance. So if we like break it up like in an like, excruciating study, like it'll still be fine. Like that. There we go. We're actually getting to uh, use fast skill three against an enemy that already has echoes of the manor, which means she gets even more singing count. It makes it so it's like a net positive singing count attack. It's pretty nice. Oh, nice. More potency, and then I think Faust gets the kill pretty easily. Yeah, it's pretty much guaranteed. Singing damage will just seal his frog's fate. And there we go, nice. Simple enough. Sinks good. Singing support is always nice. These new IDs are especially really good for sinking. Strong skill twos and the like. It's it's just nice. Sun shower. Probably go top bath, yeah. Looks good. See how well this fares. Nice. Weak to slash means this is doing fairly well for us. 4 HP left in that guy. And yeah, these guys are suffering a fair bit. Some of them have a fair bit of sinking already. Like, this guy's got 10 sinking 7 count. It's kind of a very unfortunate fate is to fall that guy. He's very sad. That's fine. Sometimes it's deserved. Maybe it's deserved in this time. I don't know. 
You would have actually singing to lose that guy had he survived like a single hit longer, which would have been funny. Would have been overkill, but in a very funny sort of way. And there we go, just just this guy left. Alright. Hong Lu, kill this guy. You don't even need insight for this one. Yeah. Cool. Was this the risky encounter? I think it was, right? Not very risky for a risky encounter, not gonna lie. And we get the crown of roses for that, sure. That's alright. Where's the boss gonna be? Oh, it's Fairy Gentleman. That's, a, that's gonna be a fun one, because that is fairly easy. I don't think he's- is he weak to gloom? I don't know. I really don't know his gloom resistance off the top of my head. I don't- I mean, it doesn't show he's weak to gloom, so I don't know if he is. He just could- he might just randomly be weak to gloom, though. Yeah, we'll pull the bag on Taze here, why not? Bunch of random singing on these guys. It's cool. Nice. Hmm. It's kind of unfortunate the sinking from bygone days is split between targets randomly instead of just being like just all of them. I don't know. It makes sense. It means that it actually kind of benefits you to only hit a single part with it. Which is a very interesting thing to do. I think it's Fairy Gentleman, because of how he works, I think we're guaranteed to be hitting both parts at least, so won't work like the best there, but that's fine. I'm sure we'll just choose a part and just kind of sinking that part to death and the other one we just spam everything else on, right? That's how it always goes. <laughs> and you do gain clash power against enemies with sinking, which is solid. It's a solid enough passive. Passives that increase your ability to clash are always just super solid for me, guys. Yeah, clash power plus one of clash power plus one. So you can get clash power plus two against high singing enemies. You don't have any super clash necessary egos though for sinking. Because for some of the IDs, some of the new IDs especially, um, I guess you can do like there's a lot of like clash win and flick sinking counts, right? You don't have any, but you're skilled too, is it? So I don't know if we really want Yi Sung to be clashing a lot of times anyways with singing teams. But he kind of does need the clash for I noticed that when I was going through Kanto 6, uh, when I was running him, he was the one who died usually, because he just would not win clashes nearly as well as the others would. So a little bit of clash power could have really gone a long way. Had I thought about using the egos, but I don't think I really stacked the sinking enough. We need, we need less bosses that only have a single body part. Kind of annoying when they just have a single body part because you can't really, you know, do funny stuff then. Oh, it's you. I wasn't expecting to see you so soon. Well, last normal fight and then we'll get to move to the finale. See how that goes. Oh. Mm. These guys are not that big of threats, so we'll just attack them and see if they manage to come out standing. I know maybe they won't. Maybe they'll just die. Your shooting style is super solid. Yeah, skill three. That's a net gain of a net gain of two scene count on a four coin scale is kind of stupid. That's for sure. If we can get more of her, her skill 3s in the shop, that would be nice. Although the issue with getting Rodeo on skill 3s is that there is always the very likely chance that it actually is for naught because this, her bottom slot will be the skill 3 and that's the one we need to rhyme shank with. And as good as that skill 3 is, it's no rhyme shank. Hate to say it. Mm, yeah, these guys die. Good enough. Whenever we get that thinking res- or whenever we get that two lost resonance, we do also get singing on everyone thanks to having a, the upgraded form of the thorny path. Also thing to keep in mind, we've got a fair bit of decent singing attacks. Stuff like Thou's skill 2, Gregor's skill 3, Otis skill 3. I believe that's all the lust we have. I also think I've said lust, or I think I said singing to the lust again there, but you know what I mean, I hope. <laughs>
There we go, victory. Onwards we go. Into the shop where we'll change someone's skills. If we get uh, the Midwinter Nightmare, that would be kind of optimal, kind of ideal. But if not, so be it, right? Uh, concern. That's nice, but not for this run. I mean, commemorative coin, yatch. Oh, there's Midwinter Nightmare. Oh, uh, I mean, there's some stuff we can really freely sell at this point anyways, so I'll take it and then I'll more stuff anyways. Yeah, that's, that's selling the stuff that does genuinely nothing for me. We'll take it and we'll press on. Oh, if we want to, we get the fusion gift here. And I probably will, yeah. Good portrait. Midwinter Nightmare. Fuse that together. There's Black Sheep music. And then enhance the gifts. And not really much we actually need to enhance. Doesn't help that much. We can go for more poise, I guess, for the bit. Or damage up for the bit. And I guess we'll get that, too. And with the Wrath. Who do we have with Wrath on this team? I know Faust has Wrath. And Hong Lu has Wrath. Yeah, those are the two that actually benefit from that. That's interesting. We do not have a lot of Egos that need Wrath, at least. So it's evened out a little bit there. Yeah, we press on. This guy is not gonna have a fun time. That's kind of- that, I mean, that's a given. Overclock Rhyme Shank hits everything. Good stuff. Actually, this is interesting. So if we want to... Yeah, we can only hit the left arm with Bygone Days. That's actually good. We're gonna focus on the left arm with our sinking stuff, I think. Sorry to stagger and flexing count. We'll save that for the future, then. Flash window flexing count. Okay. Seems good. Even one side that. And that means we're ignoring... Oh, that guy. I forgot. I was gonna say, oh no, that means we're ignoring this. But it really does not matter at all. We'll go do that there. Okay, this will be pretty solid. You're only, you know, using Hong Lu's skill one a single time. It's not getting reused. The coin isn't being reused at all. And they're not great, but that's fine. But yeah, sinking is going to be very good here. Yeah. Bygone Days. We don't even need the potency that much from Bygone Days, but I mean, it's helping. Especially because it's only hitting this part. We're just getting you know, like a solid bunch of potency and potency alone from that, and it's going again, which is pretty funny. This one probably will hit the arm, the arm and the body instead of just the arm. And yeah, he, then we haven't even used Rhyme Shank yet. Might have been better to have Rhyme Shank be the thing that goes first for the sake of it being triggered twice, but eh. I don't think it matters that much, right? <laughs> Not a wor one turn, unfortunately, but it's going to be a two turn. That's for sure. Oh no, you're using your law. I'll have this attack. What a shame. It's more of a shame if we brutally murdered you. Ooh, we can actually... I gotta do it. I gotta do it. <laughs> There we go, Singing Deluge. It's been a little bit since I've gotten the proper Singing Deluge kill on a boss. Usually Singing just kind of kills them before we actually get the chance to Deluge to them. Yeah. I mean, I think we got some decent benefit from Bygone Days there. And it's especially good if you kind of need Singing Potency, which is kind of becoming the case, funnily enough. We're getting some ideas that are really good at count, but, you know, their potency isn't really the best. Yeah, Yi Song did the most because of that, that's for sure. He did like 2,000 damage from that Deluge alone. The De Deluge would have killed him if he was at full health. Like, how good it is. I've done, I've been doing a little bit of Battle Pass grinding yesterday. Just, you know, for the fun of it. Get more levels. Make sure I'm going to be nice and prepared. And we get Daily Extractions now. See if we get anything. Shards are nice. So, I mean, if we get shards, I'll take them, right? It's always good to have. Long Lu. Interesting. Let's see. Is it going to be a one-star kind of day, though? Or are we going to see something? Okay. Cool. 
That's more Otis shards, I guess. I'll take it. Always nice to have. Yeah, base sung. Yeah, I'm doing really well on shards right now, I think, which is nice. Yeah. I'm doing very well on shards. Uh, that's cool, though. If Faust gets, like, an identity or something, which she probably won't get an identity anytime soon, because she just got in the seasonal one, and also, she's not getting anything rolled for this night, almost certainly, because she's got regret already, so it'll probably be a while before Faust gets anything new. But I'll have the shards for her. I'll probably have 400 Faust shards by then, at that point, honestly. Because it's I've just gotten so many duplicate butler Fausts that it happens. But yeah, uh, that's me trying to use it to bag on days. If I actually maxed the thread spin, it would be even better because you'd inflict even more potency and also you know it'd be fine, but only the target is sinking. And I haven't even bothered about the corrosion much at all. The corrosion's just even more bindy. I should have gone for the corrosion at least a little bit so you could see their animation because they're really cool, but uh, oh well. Hindsight is 20, not 2020. Uh, or whatever they say. Anyways, that'll be all for this time. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.